Are you the owner of a Torrent 110 and are just not happy with the way it flies? Well in this video I'm going to show you how to make your torrent really fly. I'm Core with Crash and Burn Racing and welcome back to another video. Let's jump right into the first thing you need to do to get your torrent flying the way it should is we're going to go into BL Heli Configurator here and I'm going to get it connected here real quick. Alright, we got power applied to our torrent, so now we're going to connect. Click Read Setup. And here, where you click on Flash Firmware, and here you'll pick Multi Shot. And for the version, this is where it gets kind of fun. You can actually pick some custom beep tones. I picked Imperial March, sounds pretty cool. And you're just going to click that, write Setup. And when you do that and you disconnect, this is the sound you will get. kind of slow but hey it's cool right so now that we've got that done we're going to go into beta flight here connect we'll go over to the configuration tab and here most important thing is, is that you need to switch it to multi shot here and the minimum throttle the old settings 1100 here you're going to be able to switch it down to 1045 now i noticed when i flashed to multi shot the throttle response was so much smoother, huge difference. So, this is definitely a must do for this quad. And the PID tuning, this is where it gets a little crazy, also. Um, here are my PIDs. These, this, I wasn't really able to get it much better than this. So, the roll's 36, pitch is 67, 57, 61, 33, 31 here. You can see it. I'm going to post them in the link below, but copy these PIDs into there, write it and I guarantee you this will make your torrent fly so much better than it did before so let's disconnect from here and see some flight footage alright so here's some flight footage of my newly tuned torrent 110 and as you can see it is flying pretty well I tried four different props that day I tried the RJX 1935 triblades now these looked nice and I thought they would help out with battery life but they were just too small. I was using so much throttle to try to stay up in the air so those didn't work out. I then tried the Fierce FPV 2035 props and I heard good things about these but the first set I put on I had really bad vibration and I actually ended up hitting the gate and I broke them right away and I just I had another set but I didn't even bother going back to them and then after that set I tried out the HGLRC 2035 five blade props and these actually worked pretty good. There was a good amount of thrust. Um, it seemed to do okay on the battery. Maybe it was a little heavy on it. But the winner for me was the Jam Fan 2035 BN four blade props. Now I can't say enough about these props. They're they're not brittle, they have just the right amount of flex to them. And with the 2 inch prop being in this 2.3 inch prop guard just gives it a little bit more room and it just makes such a huge difference on uh, how long your props last. So definitely go with those props also. And as you see here in the race, if you saw my previous video, you'd notice that if I went through a gate like this right here and did that, it would fall out of the sky immediately. It would just dip and then I'd lose control and it would be the end of the race. But with this tune, it just it flies so well. Um, I've been flying this thing so much that I actually flew one of my new frames, and it was it just felt terrible. I, I just I can't ex explain enough how well this feels, and it almost feels like it's flying in rails. It just you point to where you want it to go, and it just goes. It turns so well. But that pretty much wraps up this video. Leave a comment down below if you have one of these, and let me know how it flies. And uh, if you try this setup here please let me know. I'd love to hear other people's comments. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up and check out the link below to racedayquads.com. I'm Corus Crashburn Racing and thank you for watching.